What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Thursday to you guys. Yesterday, I spent five hours insulating the inside of this truck camper with some white foam board from Lowe's. And I will say, I am super, super proud of myself at what I accomplished. I took my time, I measured, because this truck topper has so many different size sections and angles and everything, so it was kind of like a a piece by piece type of ordeal or section by section but i was very patient with it and i'm very very happy at the results of it i think i did a really good job and i'll show you guys uh what i've done so far i'm about 85 percent done from the inner layer of the insulation i have not yet decided what i'm going to do as far as covering up the insulation i do have some of that gray felt like material that I was going to put on over top of the uh, white foam board but I don't think I can do that on my own so I probably wait until Michael and I start the road trip up and maybe he will help me put that on because I don't want to mess that up um, I ran out of the white foam board yesterday so I'm going to go by Lowe's and pick up some more so that I can, I'm not gonna finish the walls just yet. What I wanna do today is I want to, I wanna put some of that white foam board underneath my bed so it can stick to the underneath my bed because I think that will help my bed not to get so cold. Everything in here is kind of made out of aluminum and it gets really, really cold. So I figured maybe if I put some of that white foam board underneath my bed, my bed won't be as cold also i'm going to stop at walmart and get me a mattress topper or some kind of thin mattress foam mattress a, a thin mo a foam mattress because um i have enough on top of me when i'm sleeping but underneath me it seemed like when i'm sleeping on either one of my sides for a long time it starts to ache so I thought it would be a good idea to just kind of add some more padding to that. So that's what I'm going to do today as well. But for now, I'm gonna to head to Lowe's, pick up another pack of the white foam board, and then I'm going to come back and do the bed. Um, the other portion of the truck, uh, truck uh, topper that's not done, uh, those are the most difficult uh, cuts and, and measurements and everything. So I'm a little bit intimidated by that right now. And I don't feel like getting into that today, especially after, you know, being in relaxation mode yesterday and I didn't get frustrated not one bit. Um, I don't want to get frustrated today. So I'm going to take a pause on that and just work on the bed because the bad part should be quite simple. All right. On to Lowe's I go. All right, guys, I know exactly where this uh, foam board is. Yesterday, they actually told me the wrong owl. It was the owl next to it. So this should be a pretty easy and in and out type of deal. I already see it at the end of this owl here. And I got the red eye syndrome again and the whole eyes watering. All right, here it is right here. these things all right this is the foam that I'm using kind of right here I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah this is only nine dollars for six strips now what I'm hoping to use some of this pack for is I want to put some some of this underneath my bed so I'm gonna take everything off my bed, flip my bed over, and put some of this underneath it. And hopefully that would help my bed not to get so cold because the whole truck topper along with the bed is made out of aluminum. And that stuff, it gets cold. So I thought maybe I'll put some of this underneath my bed and that will help my bed not to get so cold. All right, I'm gonna go check this out and then on to Walmart we go. All right, guys, Whew. my hands are getting a little bit cold here. 
Yesterday also was probably the best weather day since I've been in Baltimore during the day. The weather was nice. Uh, it was easy for me to, to, excuse me, it was easy for me to be outside working on the instruction. But before I do all of that, let me show you guys what I have done so far. All right, this is what I've done yesterday. This is what I did yesterday. I put that black strip there because it's like a seam. And I thought, well, I don't want the seams to be shown. But then after I put one on this side and one on the other side, I thought, well, it's okay. You know, because I'm going to put something on top of it anyway. But yeah, I did this wall, this whole side right here. I put some down in the slots down there. This section over here, this was when I first started. So this section doesn't look as neat as the two sides does. I think it looks pretty good. And then I also did the door. And I think the door was the best part that came out. I absolutely love how the door section came out. But yeah, this is pretty neat here. Now it has all these little wires and stuff, so I haven't quite figured out yet how to do that. I might just put like a piece down the center of it or something. Don't know yet. But these are the sections that I'm a little bit kind of don't want to get into yet these little triangle parts. Uh, I still have this section right here to do on both sides. And then that one section right there. And then these two triangles on each side. And then basically I will be finished the outer part of the installation. I am here at the parking rod. So let's get this done. Try to clear this stuff off the bed. I might can just leave it right. Oh yeah, I can't even see me. All right, that's a little better. I'll sit that stuff right here. And this is the type of mattress that I have. The type of mattress I have right here. It's a nice mattress. Look, Adam sprayed some glue on here, some adhesive on there. <laughs> All right. Try not to, try not to let this stuff fall on the ground. Basically what I want to do is, I don't think y'all can see. All right, let me move you guys. All right, here we go. Let's see where I'm gonna put you guys. I'm gonna sit y'all up on this mattress and hope, hope that y'all don't fall. <laughs> All right, basically what I want to do is, right here, I want to put some of that foam right in these sections. There's four sections here. I don't even know if they are evenly the same. So let me just measure right quick. Let 
13 and a half, but I'll probably just make it a little bit in between 13 and a half and 14. And then 23. So the width, the width of it will be 23. I probably measure it again because I probably will forget. 13 and a half. Let me see if all of them are 13 and a half. Nope. They're not all 13 and a half. This one is about 14. This one right here, the sides on these things are not upright like this. So we'll have to see. Huh. All right, let me get some foam board and then I'll remeasure and then I'll get the cutting. I don't know where I'm gonna cut because I got all these blankets and everything on my tailgate now. Wow, they almost fit perfect. I probably only had to cut one length. Wowzer, that would be great. Look at this. They almost fit right in there. Man, that was great. Oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna make my job easier and I'll be finished quicker. That is great. Get my marker. I don't see how y'all gonna see what I'm doing. I can't find my, um... huh, I can't find my, my box cutter. What in the world? Oh, there you go.
I know that you're not supposed to use this. I know that I was told, I was told that you're not supposed to use this adhesive spray unless it's a certain temperature, but that's not gonna happen now because it is cold out a little bit. So I'm gonna use it anyway. Hopefully I made it a little bit snug on the ends to keep it, but we'll see anyway. If it falls off, I will know because I go under there a lot. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, I made it slightly bigger so that I can tuck, snug it in there. Okay, I might have made it a little too big. Yep, I think I made it a little too big. Nope, I don't think that's coming out. <laughs> I don't think that's coming out. Let me move you guys up here. So you can get a better look at what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna I'm a test this one out first. Cause I need to, yeah. Probably gotta cut a little bit more off of this one as well. So let me do that right quick. Okay, that's good. That's good. My goodness, I didn't even use one of these to make a another one. Alrighty. Look how these look. Nice and snug in there. 
these bad boys ain't going nowhere. All right, let me get the next piece set up. All of these pieces, all of these pieces are snugged up in there. Took a little bit off of that one because it was I didn't want it to buckle up like that one did. Hopefully this is gonna help keep my bed from being ice cold. So let's flip this back over. what's happening is I think these little clamps are yeah I didn't take in consideration these clamps right here I'm just going into the I should have cut these down some more that's okay Once I lay on it, it'll just sink into the uh, foam board. And then it'll become steady. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my bed back together.
right, so here's the the uh, foam mattress I bought. Maybe I should put this on first. Maybe I should put this on the bottom and then put that on the top. This thing on. It's gonna expand like crazy. They really got this thing all up in here. shape type of thing here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know y'all. Alright, well, I think I should put this on the bottom.
Alright, I think I'm gonna go with this. 